Hey there, scientists. Welcome to another virtual lesson with Mr. Steyer. Today, we are talking about what plants need. And our goals today are for you to list the three main things that plants need to live and grow, and for you to be able to identify the source of the energy that plants use to make the food they need to survive. So I just want you to think about plants for a few seconds. I know that in fourth grade, you studied the internal and the external structures of plants. Well, today I want you to think about what you know from fourth grade. And I also want you to think about those house plants that you may have seen in your house or in your classroom or some neighbor's friend's family's household. And I want you to think about those plants like my Ernesto here. And I need you to ask yourself, where did that family or your family keep that plant? And why was that plant put there? I also want you to think about what did you give the plant to help it grow? Or what have you seen people give a plant to help it grow? And the last thing I want you to think about when it comes to those house plants is, from your experience, what are some of the things that plants need in order to survive? Now, going from that background knowledge and from that information that you have about what you know about plants, we are going to answer the question, what do plants need? And if we look here on our science book, we can see that we have this beautiful orchid that is growing on this tree. Now, right away, we can see that we have two different plants that are in this photo. We have the orchid and we have the tree. So in order to live and grow, both of these plants need three main things to grow. Now, really quick, if you have a piece of paper near you or you can just remember it in your head, or if you're willing to say it out loud, I want you to say what are the three things that plants need in order to live and grow and survive. Now, I know that we can look at this and you can use your information from fourth grade and you know that one of those main things that a plant needs is sunlight. I know that you can look at this photo and you know that one of those things that plants need is water. I also know that the other thing that plant is going to need to grow and to survive is air. Now, typically, we are going to always say that plants need soil in order to grow and survive. But in this situation from this orchid, there's no soil that is needed. Uh, this orchid is growing on the branches of a tree in a rainforest. Now where this tree, where this orchid is growing on this tree and the location of this tree, both of those things also matter. Because they give us information about where this is happening and why this is happening. Now, it's really easy for us to take this information and forget that we're going to have to compare it with what we know about how plants, how animals get energy. So my stuffed animal, Tom Nook here, you know that in order for a animal to get energy, they are going to need to eat food. And when they eat that food, that is how Tom Nook stays plump and healthy. But, Plants, on the other hand, they're going to have to get food in a different way. So our animals are going to get their energy by eating food. Well, then what's one way that plants are different from animals? Well, you're right. Green plants make their own food, where animals need to go and get it from some other source. So what is the source of it? What is the source of energy? that a plant gets its food from. Well, green plants are going to use the energy of sunlight to make their own food. I've always thought this would be an amazing 
ability, especially if you could just like stand outside in the sun as a human, make your own food and just want a cheeseburger and the sunlight just tastes like a cheeseburger. Unfortunately, animals don't have that ability, but plants do. So again, going back to this orchid in the rainforest, we're asking ourselves, where is this orchid growing? And we know that it's on a branch on the forest in a tree. And in a rainforest, the branches of the trees grow so close together that very little light reaches the floor. So this orchid, if it wants to survive, it has to grow high in the rainforest canopy in order to be able to get sunlight in order to grow. Why does this orchid need sunlight? Well, the orchid needs sunlight so the orchid can make its own food. And that is one of those three basic needs that plants have, sunlight. So when we look down here, we can see that this orchid petal blossom has droplets on it. And we can see that the caption here says, the orchid gets water from rain and fog. So we have to ask ourselves, why is that orchid using rain and fog in order to get water? And what can you infer about those droplets? <clears throat> why are these droplets important to the orchid? So those are things that we as scientists, those are the questions we have to ask. Last week, we talked a lot about making sure that we observe like a scientist. Well, we have to observe closely when we look at this orchid and these droplets. And then we have to think critically, why is that the way it is? Why are those droplets there? What does the plant need in order to survive? Moving forward, I want you to be critically thinking about how plants need three basic things, sunlight, air, and water.